channel. This week on Weekly Devotions with Savannah, we are talking about the difference between eternal joy and happiness. I kind of, I kind of swayed that. Let's try again. From joy and happiness. I hope that's better. So today, I do have, I guess, a couple of points. Point one is, I guess, not the problem, but the conceptual idea of that they're the same thing. What God says, and three, how to help fix the, I guess, what's wrong, or the idea, or whatever. So, point one, people think that joy and happiness are the same thing, and they're not. They're two completely different things. They're not the same. Joy comes from God, and it's eternal, and it goes on forever, and you, even though you've had a bad day, you're still joyful, because joy comes from God. Even though you've had a down day, and it wasn't really the greatest day, you can still be joyful through all of that because you have God's joy in you and with you all of the time. Happiness is spur of the moment, right then and there, ooh, that was happy. That made me happy. Like, you hear a good song and you're like, ooh, now I'm happy. But happiness, I guess, comes from more of earthly thing. Joy comes from God. And so I guess that's uh, where people get them wrong. They think that joy is the same thing as happiness, used hand in hand with the word happy. Anyway. Joy and happiness are not the same thing, and we're just going to go in and see what God says about that and how he says to get eternal joy. The verse I found for today is in 1 Thessalonians 4 through 6, and it is, For we know, brothers loved by God, that he has chosen you, because our gospel came to you, not only in your word, but also in power, and in the Holy Spirit, and with full conviction. You know what kind of men we proved to be among you for your sake. And you became emitters, imitators of us and of the Lord. For you received the word in much affliction with the joy of the Holy Spirit. That's the verse I found for today. Unfortunately, it's not the ideal verse I would have loved to have for this video. And I couldn't, I'm sorry, it sounds really bad, but I couldn't remember the verse I had picked out earlier in this week for this video. But I thought it was an okay verse. It kind of, it, it kind of suits. It, it um, shows that our joy should come from God. I like it a lot. It works. If I remember it when I'm editing, I will post it in the down description box thing below so you can see that verse and be able to reference that one because I did like what that one said better. But I don't have it to read with you here today, so I apologize. But check down there to see if it's there. Third thing, how to help with the... Um, Grasping the everlasting, eternal, grasping the always coming over flowing of joy from God. <laughs> and how to laugh, grasp onto that is by having to fill yourself up every day. You always have to be constantly putting in God's word to refresh what's come out because every day you get drained and it's gone. You have to eat, right? So you should think of it like that. Every morning, I want you to start your day with reading a verse in your Bible, whether it's the verse I just gave you, 1 Thessalonians 1, 4 through 6, or if it's a different verse that really speaks to you. I would like to challenge you guys to start off every day this week, just read the one verse or the one chapter that really speaks to you. And I promise, I promise that with reading that, it'll be fresh on your mind. Your day will go a whole lot better. You'll feel more happy, more joyful. Even if something goes wrong, you'll, you won't dread on that. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. And I hope you have a blessed day full of love and smiles. Bye, guys. Stay tuned for next week's video because if you want a sneak peek, follow me on Twitter and I will post the sneak peek on Wednesday. So all of my friends are always asking for what's next, what's next week's video, and I decided, well, if they want to find out, you should follow me. My Twitter is down below, so is my Instagram, and I might post the sneak peek or a different sneak peek on both of those. So, bye lovely people. Love you.